Does your RV have more grime than shine after sitting around all winter long? Well, fear not, because today it's time for a good old-fashioned spring cleaning, and we're going to have this RV shining like it's new. Stay tuned. First things first, guys, let's talk prep and tools. Now, we are using a power washer today. But don't fret, this can be done with a big old soapy bucket of water, a soft bristle brush, and a whole lot of elbow grease. Now I just like to use this cheap car wash stuff, guys. The brand and the price really isn't gonna matter when it comes to this. As long as it's something that's safe for your vehicle, you ought to be in good shape as far as the RV. Uh, most of the time you're gonna achieve the same results. Go ahead and get yourself a nice soft bristle brush that you can extend up to reach all the hard to reach areas. I got a spray wax here that I like to use and a good sponge for the tires and the rims. Guys, now let's talk about using the power washer on the RV. I'm sure we've all heard things uh, on the internet on how not to do this and you're gonna break this and you're gonna break that. But let me tell you, put your fears aside with the right tip and the right knowledge on how to use this thing you're gonna get much better results and there's really nothing to worry about as long as we're approaching it the right way. Now, too much pressure can have you peeling paint and decals before you say oops, so make sure you keep your distance, kind of like you do your in-laws at the holidays. Now, obviously also before blasting away on the rig, you wanna go ahead and do a walk around, check all your window seals, look for any peeling decals, uh, any weak spots on the side of the body. Also, obviously, make sure your windows are shut, even your vents up top if they're open. You're going to get a lot of splash back and spray up there, and you won't want to get any water inside. Now, we took this thing camping this past weekend, and let me tell you, we really got our work cut out for us, guys. Uh, on Friday when we left, you can see how dirty this thing really is. I'm sure it's hard to show up, but on Friday when we left, we hit a rain and snowstorm. And as you all know, I'm sure... The road spray and the mess that comes on these RVs is absolutely out of control when you have to drive through that. Let me know down in the comments if you guys got any tips or tricks to getting these things cleaned up once we get to the campground. I mean, we spent about an hour or two before each trip making sure everything's shined up and looking nice. And there's nothing more frustrating than having to drive through crap weather and the rig be completely trashed when you show up. So let me know if there's something you guys use or do once you get there to get these cleaned up and looking good again. All right, guys, so the first thing I like to do is go ahead and round the RV and start with a pre-rinse. Try to get all the mud, dirt, bugs, things like that off there, and then we'll move on to the next step. Once you guys get everything rinsed down, go ahead and start applying your soap. Now, I would only recommend doing one side at a time, especially on a sunny or hot day. The last thing we want is for the soap to start drying on the side of this thing before we can get it all rinsed off. Once you guys got everything wet and soaked down, go ahead and grab your soft bristle brush and make sure you get all the areas on here that's really going to cut down on any streaks or brush marks that are left behind. Now once you guys get everything soaked down, you can see all the mud and dirt coming off with these suds now. Go ahead and rinse everything off real thoroughly and then repeat it for the other side, the front and the back.
it. They'll buy the crappiest brush that you guys can get on Amazon. This is what happens. Now once you guys are done with the wash, it's time to add the wax, which is really going to bring out the shine, especially on these aluminum corrugated sided campers. Now a little disclaimer here, if you are or do own like a fiberglass gel coated camper, make sure you check your uh, manufacturer's recommendations on what wax to use and how to protect it. This stuff may not work for every situation, but it works like a gem for this year. Now another tip, unless you're into CrossFit or a workout and wasting your whole day, I would recommend a spray on and walk away wax. These things are big enough. You're gonna spend all day long waxing this thing to try to get it right. This stuff works really well. It's just a cheap turtle wax. We got it at DG, it was six bucks. Been using it for years. You just spray it on while everything's wet and it really does a great job at repelling all the water, beating everything up and protecting the camper. So again, you just kind of go around and soak everything down while it's wet. And the nice part is you can just walk away from it and you're done. Again, I would recommend doing only one side at a time here. Uh, you don't want this stuff getting too far ahead of you and sun coming out and drying everything on before you guys get a chance. Now, if your camper does start to dry off before, just go ahead and get your hose out and wet it down again and then ply this here. Now guys, really all you got left to do is go ahead and repeat putting the wax on the other sides. That's really about it. Keep in mind, if you are using a power washer, uh, take your time, be gentle, err on the side of caution. We certainly don't want to cause any more damage, but with a little bit of knowledge and know-how, a power washer is really going to do you guys a great job on getting these rigs looking like brand new. We appreciate you guys watching, and we will catch you next week. 